Hey guys, it's Riku Keyblade Master here again. Um, so, here's the thing. I'm coming at you guys with a little bit of an update. It turns out that I found out the truth that my friend ended up being sick after all. But she didn't she didn't, um, I didn't find out just by her telling me, because I'm not somebody that's going to read a message bubble and believe everything everybody says. Well, she physically took a photo and sent it to me to show me, and it was all thanks to telling everybody that I wasn't going to be somebody who was susceptible to excuses. Seriously, I'm not. But, uh... Yeah. So, with that being said, I won, I... I got my point across, and I'm happy about that. And we're back to being friendly again. I mean, I've been friends in sixth grade. It's, it's not like I'm gonna let, you know, something stupid trash it or whatever. But, I mean, I am still a little iffy because she has pulled the excuses before without physically showing me. This is the first time that she's physically shown me, so I don't know if I actually won at all. Well, actually, I did in that instance. But the times before... Why didn't I think of doing what I did before? I mean, seriously. Um... I'm such a loser. I'm so stupid. Hey. What the? Sora? Don't make me blast you with my smiles again. Oh, too late. <laughs> hey. I warned you. Riku? What are you doing here? You know exactly what I'm doing here. I hate it when you do that. I hate it when you call yourself stupid. I hate it when you call yourself dumb. I'm literally... I hate it when you do that. <laughs> I know. But what else am I supposed to do? I mean... Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. It happens. But that I get. But you don't need to call yourself the opposite of what you really are. Really? Because I feel like in that instance, I was kind of dumb. Uh, no you weren't. Hello, you said it yourself. You said that this isn't the first time it's happened. But it is the first time that someone's actually shown you that they're not making an excuse. True. Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? Roxas? What are you doing here? You know exactly why I'm here. All the countless times that I've seen you... I I'm not even kidding, Ryu Keyblade Master. I've watched you like a hawk. And I've seen your heart get busted several times, and even though I don't have one, or I'm not even sure I really do have one, 
you are definitely one of my closest adversaries slash friends. So it hurts me to see you destroy. Thanks. <laughs> and I can tell you're serious. Yes! I am serious. Now will you stop? That's another thing. Will you stop calling yourself dumb? I may have disagreed with Riku at the end of 358 over two days. But guess what? I don't disagree with him now. You're not stupid. If anything, you are the opposite of that. And you're a valuable asset to a lot of people. And yes, I am aware that that particular statement can be interpreted in so many different ways, but to us, to us, you are a valuable asset. I don't know how it is in the visible realm where you particularly live, but, I mean, actually, I do technically know how it is. There are some people that are on your side, and there are some people that are not. And that's what makes me mad. Sometimes I just want to overshadow you and be like, hey, that's not fair. Get off her case. Do you remember the way I acted towards Namine in Kingdom Hearts 2? When... Diz was trying to be a dumbass? Now him I've got... Him I've got a beef with, and I will accept... That sort of comment against him, because he did pull some nasty crap before. Not even kidding. But... You... I will not accept that comment towards... Or the comment towards you calling yourself... Stupid. That I will say me and Riku are in agreement on. Because... You don't... Deserve that. In all honesty, you don't have the right to call yourself dumb. You don't have the right to call yourself stupid. We are not giving you that right anymore because whoever gave you that right before should be aware that you've used that way too much. And in situations where you didn't need to be. Like, okay, the next situation that you're going to bring up here, I catch you calling yourself dumb, or a dumbass, or stupid, guess what? I'm going to smack you. Ah, <sighs> fine. But the situation has to be brought up in some way. Okay, go ahead. So, like Rox has said, this situation, um, this next situation, I might end up calling myself dumb or whatever, but I know now that I have to, like, you know, watch my P's and Q's towards this, but otherwise I'll kick my butt. Um, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, our group is actually coming along really nicely. Um, I think now we do have six, and we are willing to go up to seven because we ended up taking uh, two potential candidates. But, um... The friend I was talking about, Annie Formal 307, 
Um, she wouldn't qualify anyway, because like I told you, her channel does, um, she does movie critiques. Well, I may convince her if, if the Kingdom Hearts CG movie gets greenlit, I may convince her to do a critique on that one. Because, for those of you who don't know, I am an avid Kingdom Hearts fan, and I, I'm not even kidding, I am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to the series, but here's the thing, if it does get greenlit, if it does get greenlit, um, I'm definitely going to go see it. you know, and see if it does end up disappointing me or whatever, but, um, personally, and I've been getting mixed reviews, speaking of CGI movies based on video games, I have been getting mixed reviews, besides the Ratchet and Clank movie sucking horribly, which I didn't um, get the chance to go see because I was unfortunately stuck in the hospital. But, in a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't go see it because a lot of the people that I talked to said it was a financial flop. They said it was a financial flop, and all honesty, um, I don't know entirely, but, um, one thing that I will agree with is I know the movie was based on the events of the first game, but one question that I do want answered when it comes to Ratchet and Clank, is who was Clank's actual creator? Was it Dr. Nefarious, Chairman Drac, or somebody else? Seriously, somebody leave that answer in the comment section or something, please. I'm not even kidding. But no, the Ratchet and Clank movie... I unfortunately did not have the, um, the chance to go see it because, yeah, I was stuck in the hospital around that time, but a lot of people are like, thank goodness you were where you were because that movie was a financial flop, and if you would have saw it, This is an over-exaggeration, but some people did take it this far. Some Somebody told me that if I did go see the Ratchet and Clank movie, I would end up with burning eyeballs. And not the good kind of burning eyeballs from crying. <laughs> the bad kind of burning eyeballs, like charred burning eyeballs. Which, you know, I ended up, because that movie only stuck in theaters for like a week, and that whole week I was out. I was out of commission that whole week, and I didn't get to see it, but a lot of people were like, well, at least, um... A lot of uh, people that have ended up uh, subscribing to me, back when my name was Vanessa Espinosa, they're like, well, at least Vanessa Espinosa didn't go see it, because she would have ended up with the same rage as we did. Well, you know, yeah, that's true. I probably would have ended up with the same rage as you. Um, but, 
Yeah. Hey. I believe you're steering off topic again. Don't worry. Sorry, I was gonna get back on topic, but... I don't know. I was just thinking about the CG movie, and that, and that made me bring up the other thing, and... Blech. But one thing I will mention, though, before I go back onto my original topic is... Um... Like I said, I have been getting mixed reviews about Final Fantasy Kingscliff. I've been getting mixed reviews about that. So, I don't know if it's bad. I don't know if it's good or anything like that. I just know that the Ratchet and Clank movie was unsuccessful. Even actual critics were in the audience bashing the thing. Like... Not even kidding. And yes, I have had some people be like, okay, you know what, I'm glad you didn't go see it. But anyway, back to what I was talking about before we ended up with the possible excursus or whatever. <sighs> so, the thing that I majorly wanted to talk about is the fact that, you know, now, now you know I'm not somebody that messes around, and I'm sorry if it had to come out the way it did, but it's... Ow! What was that for, Riku? Uh, you said sorry again. I don't like that word either. Fine, I won't say it, but I was just apologizing. There are other ways you can apologize. You can get around it without saying that particular word. I've seen you do it before. Even when you're just like, I'm... Hi. Why is this so hard? Um, I, I can tell right then and there that you're trying to apologize without saying that particular word. And I really wish you would quit saying that word. What? The word I just smacked you for? Oh. Fine. I won't say it. Good. Thank you. I hate it when you say that. But anyway, uh, I may actually, when it does get greenlit, I'm definitely gonna go see that movie. Um, I'm definitely gonna go see the Sly Cooper movie, which got changed to 2017. And so did Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions, by the way. But I'm glad that thing is not CGI. I'm glad that that thing is actually animated. But my main point is... Don't make excuses. You know... Um, but another, another main point is that our group is literally coming along nicely. We've got, I believe we've got six members now. We may actually end up going to a seventh, um, which is totally fine. I believe that is why- Oh, and that's another thing, too. You guys. Milky Wild Gamer and- Eh! Milky Wild Gamer and, uh, Limit Formal 307. I tried to search us up last night. And... I couldn't find our icon. 
Um, maybe... Can one of you send me a picture of our icon through Skype? Because... I can't... Um... I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, I typed in our name. I typed in the nobodies. And I couldn't... Um... Find it. Which reminds me, I've got another bit of news. Last night, I recently gained, I believe, two more subscribers. Um, the Nobodies was one of them, but, um, it didn't show me the icon pick. It didn't show me the icon pick, it just said the Nobodies. And apparently, there's a lot of channels known as the Nobodies. And we may have a problem with our group's name. Because there are, besides us, there are two other groups known as the Nobodies. And the other, I understand why we're calling ourselves the Nobodies, but the other groups that are doing that, I don't know why they're doing that because, like, their YouTube base is much bigger than ours. Ours is in the range between 50s and 100s. Theirs is in the thousands. So, I don't know what to expect from this. So, I mean, we can keep our name the same. Just as long as um, our icon looks different, I don't really care. But I couldn't find us. I know I have a subscription from the Nobodies, but it didn't show me the icon, it just said the Nobodies. Which really confused me last night. And I'm... I can't say this word otherwise Riku will smack me again, but you get the point. It does confuse me that um, there are now three, maybe even four groups that have the same name. So without our pictures, how can anyone tell that it's us and not some other group? So, I mean, I'm... I don't know. I got confused last night when I was trying to find it. And, um, Kingdom Keepers, check your Skype. I sent you a message last night to let you know that I couldn't find our channel's icon. I kept finding one that looks like a triangle. It looks like this. I can't really draw very well, but it looks like there's a point in the middle like this, and then it goes like this, and then it bloops down like a triangle. So, that's the icon I kept finding. I kept ah, finding um, a triangle crown looking thing, and it was black. It's whitish gray. You get the idea. The screen was black and the icon was like a whitish gray mixed with a little bit of black. Um, unless that is us and there and the other members of our group were talking, I don't know. But I don't think that is us because um otherwise they would have introduced who they were. So um, and the nobodies that I found, the other two groups, they introduced who they were, and, uh, none of our members' names popped up, so that, those two definitely weren't us. So, unless you've got our channel's basis, but you don't have it, like, up and running yet, uh, 
which thank you to Moki Wall Gamer. I got your Skype message. Uh, with the rules and stuff. I told you I was gonna check that. Um, but yeah, the uh. The thing is going along really smoothly, and I know I'm not the only one that is proud of this progress. So, thank you guys so much for making our group possible. And you know what I just realized? I just realized I am the only female in our group, or I may be the only female in our group, which I don't have a problem with that. I really don't. It doesn't even feel awkward to me either, because I've joined, like, um, even, even in, uh, groups in some of my school classes when I was in school, I was the only female in some of the groups. And, you know, because we usually paired up, like, two people or three people, whatever. Um, I was the only female in some of the groups, and I was okay with that. So, I, to me, it's not awkward. It's really not awkward. Um, but, you know, t to me... I'm, I'm okay if I am the only female of the group. I am totally okay with that. I don't find anything wrong with that at all. So, you know, most people would find something wrong with that, but I don't. I don't particularly find anything wrong with anything that our group has done so far either. Um... But, uh, Kingdom Keepers, when I was Skyping Kingdom Keepers last night, he said there was one other rule that, uh, Mokiwa Gamer didn't send us, but he couldn't think of it right off the bat. But it's okay, because we all get brain freezes every now and again. I mean... Even total geniuses like myself get them. I'm not even going to lie. I have had multiple brain freezes. Well, my family calls them brain farts, but you get the idea. I have had, to I have had tons of those. Like, I could be thinking about something. Like, in the last update video that I gave you guys, um, th I said there was a word I was searching for, and I can't say it. That's because I couldn't think of it, and it wouldn't come out, but, uh, that right there is definitely one example of having that. So, <laughs> which I can, so I can totally understand that. I can. But, um... Anyways, my main point of this video was to give you guys, um, not exactly background information like, like I did in the last, in the other video that I posted yesterday when I showed you how I made the design for, um, my Melody Catcher Keyblade, which if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. It's You will not be disappointed because at least I show you what I mean instead of just explaining it. Like how some people they'll explain it and others still don't get it. But I I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I have a life-size kingdom key, so let me just show you what I mean. But anyway, if you guys haven't checked that out, as well as my other content, do so. You will not be disappointed. 
I specialize in theories, speculation, um, I definitely have quite a few fandubs scattered around here and there. I have vocal covers, and, um, a few other things. Um, but if anything, this has been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder, as well as a member of the Cooper Gang. Um, and that's another series that I specialize in too, Sly Cooper. So, if you haven't seen my videos towards that as well, go ahead and check those out. Um, those were before I upgraded to this particular way of doing things. But like I said, you know, this has been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe, become a Keyblade Wielder. Hit that like button. Share if you would. It would help me out immensely. And I'll see you guys in the next, you know, whether it be a speculation, a vocal cover, something along those lines. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys just stay cool. Stay cool. We'll catch up with you soon. <laughs> For those of you that don't know that reference, um, play Dream Drop Distance. It's play Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, and you'll see. Um, I might consider doing Let's Plays on my channel again. I'm I'm not entirely for sure, but who knows? But like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, become a Keyblade wielder, and stay awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and as well as becoming a Keyblade wielder, also subscribe to become a member of the Cooper Gang, and I will check you guys later. Peace.